Hello friends in this video tutorial we are going to learn live in line update or edit of data using jQuery X editable plugin with PHP script and MySQL database. In this video tutorial we will see you how create in line editing using PHP and MySQL and we have already discussed this topic in our previous video tutorial like live table at edit delete using Ajax and PHP. This type of things we will do here but now we have used jQuery plugin X editable that allows you to create editable elements on your page and it is also easily integrate with bootstrap also. So we will use this plugin for inline edit of table data with PHP script. Now let's start learn this things, this is our testing database and in this we have one employee table with table column like id, name, address, gender, designation and age table fields. We have already inserted data into this table so we will use this data for inline update of data. This is our index page and on this page first link is for bootstrap style sheet. Second link is for jQuery JavaScript library, third link of Bootstrap JavaScript, fourth link is for Bootstrap editable library style sheet and last link will load Bootstrap editable JavaScript library. This all are required if you have used editable plugin with Bootstrap. First on index page we have create one table with table column heading like id, name, gender, designation and age. We will display employee data under this table. Under this table we have create open and close table body tag with attribute it is equal to employee data. We will load employee data under this table body tag. Now we have moved to write jQuery code for load employee data under employee data table body tag. So we have create on function fetch employee data. This function will fetch data from employee table and display under this table. Under this function we have Ajax request and in Ajax request we have write first option URL set to fetch.php page. Here we have send request to this PHP page. In second option we have write second option method and set to post. Here we have used post method for send data to server. In third option we have write data type. This option define in which format you want to receive data from server. So here we have write JSON data type. So we will receive data in JSON format. In last option we have write success callback function. This function has been called if request complete successfully. This function will receive data from server. This function receive data in JSON array format. So now we want display under above defined table. So we have write for loop with variable count is equal to zero. Count variable value less than data dot length and count plus plus. This loop will continue execute until last data. Under this first we have write variable HTML data is equal to open table row and under this we have write open and close table data tag and between this tag we have append data with count variable dotted column. It will display employee it under this table column. After this we have write HTML data variable and in this we have append open and close table data tag and in this tag we have add data variable name is equal to name. Class name is equal to name, data type is equal to text and data park is equal to data count dotted column and for display name we have write data count index dot name. This will display employee name under this table column and we have add some data variable like name, type and park. We will use this variable value while update of data at PHP script. Here text means input type text box will pop up on web page. Now we want the display gender, so we have HTML data variable and in this variable we have append HTML code like open and close table data tag and in this tag we have append data attribute like name is equal to gender, class is equal to gender, 
data type is equal to select and data park is equal to data count index dot and for display gender we have write data count index dot gender it will display employee gender under table and we have used data attribute like name select and park and park full form is primary key and in this we have store employee aid and data type is equal to select that means we will make drop down option using this plugin then after we want to display employee designation so we have write html data variable and in this variable we have append html code like open and close table data tag and in this tag we have write data attribute like name is equal to designation class is equal to designation data type is equal to text and data park is equal to data count index dot and for display designation we have write data count index dot designation column Lastly for display employee age so we have write HTML data variable and in this variable we have append open and close table data tag and in this we have write data attribute like name is equal to age, class is equal to age, data type is equal to text and primary key is equal to data count index dot id column and for display age we have write data count index dot age column name. This will display employee age and last we have write close table row tag. This way we have store all employee data in table format. Now we want to append into employee data table body id. So we have write table body tag it employee data with append method and in this method we have write HTML data variable. This will display employee data under table format on web page. After making this function now we want to call this function so we have directly call fetch employee data function. So when page has been loaded this function will be called and it will display employee data on web page. Now we have moved to write PHP code on fetch.php page. So on this page first we have make database connection. So we have write dollar connect variable is equal to miscly connect function with for argument like host name set to local host, username set to root, password set to blank and database name set to testing. After making database connection we have write dollar query variable is equal to select star from employee table. This query will fetch data from employee table. Now we want to execute this query, so we have write dollar result variable is equal to miscly query function with two argument. In first argument we have write database connection string like dollar connect variable and in second argument we have write dollar query variable. This will execute query and store result into dollar result variable. After this we have define dollar output variable with array data type. In this variable we will store employee data into array format. Now we have write while loop with dollar row variable is equal to miscly fetch a sack function with dollar result argument. This function will fetch as result of row as an associative array and store into dollar row variable. Under this loop we have write dollar output array variable is equal to dollar row variable. This will store all dollar $row variable data to dollar $output array variable. Now we want to send this data to Ajax request so we have write echo statement with JSON encode function with dollar $output argument. This function will convert array to JSON string format and send to Ajax request. So we have saved this code and check output in browser. friends when page has been loaded then we can see the employee data in table format. Now we want to use editable plugin for edit table column like game, gender, designation and age. So we have go to index page query code and here we have write query code for inline table column edit name column. So we have write dollar with table body and employee data as selector with editable method. This method will initialize editable table plugin. 
Under this first we have right container property set to body, it for pop window smoothly pop on web page. In second property we have right selector, in this option we can define HTML selector, here we want to activate on name table column, so we have right table data tag with name class which class. In third property we have right URL and here we have right update.php. Here we have send request to this page. In fourth property we have right title and here we have right employee name. This will display under pop heading. In fifth property we have right type set to post. Here we have use post method for send data to server by using post method. This will send name, value and primary key value data send to server. In last option we want to use required field validation for this table column data, so when someone enter blank value then he can show error message like this field is required. So we have write validation property and under this we have write function with value argument, under this function we have write if dollar trim function with value is equal blank. This condition will check if someone enter blank records then it will execute if block of code and under this block we have write return statement with message like this field is required. Same way for initialize editable for gender table column, so we have first copy above code and paste here, so first we have change selector property and here we have write table data tag with gender class. In this table column we want to display male female select box, so here we have write source property and here we have define male female data in JSON array format. This property will make select box with male and female option. This will code will initialize editable plugin on gender table column with male female select box, now we want to do this things for designation table column. So we have again copy first code and paste here. In this first we have change selector property with table data with designation class. This is a selector of designation table column. And we have also change title property to designation. So this code will initialize editable plugin on designation table column. Same way for age table column. So we have again copy first code and first we have change selector property with table data tag with class name age. This class is a selector of age table column. After this we have change title property with age. This title will display on pop over heading. Now we want to add one more validation here. So we have go to function and we have defined one expression variable is equal one expression which allowed zero to number. After this we have write if statement with not operator with expression variable dot test function under this function we have write value. This function will check if we have enter some alphabet then it will execute if block of code and under this block we have write return statement with text message like numbers only. This message will display under pop over. So our code ready for initialize editable plugin on table column like name, gender, designation and age. So now we have go update.php page and on this page we have first make database connection. After making database connection, we have write dollar query variable is equal to update employee table set table column get from dollar post name variable is equal to value get from dollar post value variable where it is equal to dollar post primary key variable. This is update query and here we have get value of post name, value and primary key variable value get from Ajax request an editable plugin. Now we want to execute this query so we have write miscly query function with two argument like database connection string dollar connect variable and dollar query. This function will execute update query and it will update particular table column. So friends our code is ready so we have saved this code and check out what in browser. 
Friends you can see that when page has been loaded then employee data and table format and we have activate inline edit of table column like name, gender, designation and age table column. So when we have click on name table column then pop over pop on web page and here we can edit this table column value. Same way we have click on other table column like gender, designation, age table column. On all table column we can add a table column data. Now we have first check validation, so we have click on name table column and remove text box value and click on OK button then you can see error message like this field is required. Same we have check number validation. So we have click on age table column and under pop over text box we have enter non number value and click on OK button then we can see error message like numbers only. So our validation worked perfectly. After this we want to update name table column data, so we have click on name table column and change table value and click on OK button, then you can see data has been changed. Here we have refreshed end page and after this also we can see change data under table. That means inline update of table column has been working properly. Now we have C select box under gender table column so when we have click on gender table column data then you can see select box with male and female option. So we have changed this column gender from male to female and click on OK button then you can see this column data has been updated. So this code also working. So this is very useful jQuery plugin by using this plugin you can edit inline table column data without refreshing of page. So friends if you like this video tutorial, please share this video with your friends or even you can also share this video on social media also. If you want to get more update regarding our video tutorial, please subscribe our YouTube channel. Thank you for watching this video.